This is just a quick tour of the Flow Field Assessment Tool by Digon Systems. We built this tool to integrate seamlessly with the Army Corps of Engineers Builder Database, as well as allowing assessors in the field to quickly and accurately collect data. So we chose the Android platform for our application. And this is a Samsung Android tablet that operates exactly as any other Android tablet you may be familiar with. Our application has an icon, just like all the rest on this screen right here. So clicking on the Flow Mobile icon opens the Flow Mobile application. So let's imagine that I'm a field assessment engineer and I've been assigned by my team lead data from the Flow website. That data is in the form of buildings and systems. So I need to assess certain buildings and certain systems. So before I started this video, I hit sync now, which brought all that data from the website down onto my tablet. When that sync completed, I have now all the information that I need to start my assessment. So now I can go into the field independent of internet connectivity. Even though this tablet also has cellular data enabled, so I could connect to the internet if I wanted to, I don't need to. So clicking on my buildings shows me the building or buildings that I've been assigned to. I can look at the details of that building and these details are just your standard builder building details. Um, I've also got photos that have been added below so I can find my building and comments may help me guide myself to the address. So let me go look at the inventory of this building because I'd like to start my assessment now. Let's imagine also that I'm a fire protection engineer today. So I'm concerned with the fire protection system. So I click on D40 fire protection and that takes me to the component level. Now I'm standing in front of a sprinkler head on the ceiling. So I want to see what sections we have of sprinklers. And I see I've got uh, wet pipe systems and then I've got general. I think I'm in the basement and I think this is the general section. So let me open that and take a look at the section dashboard. So this is my section. I can look at all these details. I've also got additional details in the form of model number ID. If this was that type of section, I could add those details as well. So let me go back and look at any comments that have been made about that section. There are none. And I can see history, which is previous inspection history. So if there were previous inspections on this, I could take a look at those first, which is a good idea if you're doing an inspection. And now I'm ready to start my inspection. So hit start inspection. The next screen allows me to choose whether it's a direct rating or an age-based inspection, and it populates today's date automatically. So I want to do a direct rating. So click start inspection, and that brings me to the direct rating page. I think I need to give this an amber minus, but if I forget what amber minus means, I can click on help and that shows me all the definitions for these ratings. So choosing amber minus, I also want to put in an inspection comment. So I click inspection comment and I could type this in on this keyboard down below, but I prefer to use the voice recognition technology on the Android tablet. This sprinkler is pulling away from the ceiling slightly. So I like that, I saved it, and now that comment is part of the inspection record. You can also add a photo. And that photo allows me to show any distresses that I may have mentioned in my comments. So I can choose save. And now that photo is automatically added to the inspection record, as you can see. So I click complete and that finishes the inspection for that section. So you've seen how I can find inventory. I can add new sections in the same way and add in the name and the year and the quantity for a new section. I can do inspections at that moment as well. So far I've shown you how to navigate and it's been sort of cumbersome because I'm going up and down in the hierarchy of Uniformat screen by screen. So we added this left side pullout drawer that allows me to jump over screens. So I'm at the section level now. I can jump to the system, I can jump back to the building, I can go to the component level from here. So this makes my navigation a little bit faster. Also at this level, I've got the ability to search. So within the system called fire protection, I can search for a string. So let's say I wanna find and see if there are any sections that are in my database right now um, that have the word standpipe in it. I'm just going to type in the word stand because that's a pretty distinctive word and search. 
Okay, so I found my one section of standpipe. This is a riser. So I want to take a look at that section. So that's another way to navigate. What we found is from feedback from engineers in the field who have seen the development of flow, they've told us that the way they work is with a handful of sections all at a time. And these are the guys that have been using pen and paper for years. So they, on their clipboard, have 10, maybe 20 sections written out by hand, and that's what they're dealing with all day long. And they're incrementing the quantity of these, and they're writing notes about them, etc. So we created in Flow a way to simulate that, to, to get that same functionality. And it's called the pinned sections drawer. So I swipe from right to left and it opens the drawer. And now I, I've done this beforehand um, in my hotel room perhaps. I knew that I was gonna be working in the basement all day on fire protection uh, sections. So I put all those fire protection sections into my pinned sections drawer. And now as I move through the basement, I can look at all these, look for and look at all these sections so I walk into another room and I see another pull station. So I can click plus one, plus one. So I just incremented by two. I keep moving through, I see a multi-zone panel, plus one. I can do an inspection by clicking on that section, going right to that page, and then coming right back to the drawer again. For sections that are based on square footage, I can look at the square foot of the room that I'm in, I can modify that, and then I can increment by that room size very, very quickly. So this is another way to navigate. I, I want to take a look at a specific section now called general. This is the one that I did the inspection on just a moment ago. Because I've shown you now how we access inventory, how we create inventory, and how we inspect inventory. We also have access to, in this case, DIMLS. But DIMLS is a computerized maintenance management system, or CMMS, for an organization called DHA. So DIMLS has a way of identifying items of inventory in its database. And I've just shown you how Builder has ways of identifying its inventory. So what this DIMLS tab does is allow us to link those two databases through what's called a RIPI ID. A RIPI ID is that distinctive name that DIMLS uses to identify its equipment. So clicking on the DIMLS tab shows me for Sprinklers and releasing devices, component subtype general, shows me all the potential, and you can see that I'm scrolling here, all the potential RIPI IDs from the DIMLS database that I can associate with this section. And I can do research on each of these by clicking on the information button to take a look at the information that comes to us from DIMLS. And then once I've decided which one or many of these RIPI IDs is associated with this particular section, I just click this checkbox here. Now, when I go back to the dashboard, the unlinked icon that was here a moment ago is now a chain link, indicating that, that those RIPI IDs are associated now with this builder section. And you can see those IDs for those DIMLS equipment here in the ID for the section details in Builder. So that's how we bring in, and it doesn't just have to be DIMLs, it can be pretty much any CMMS out there. We can fairly easily uh, code so that we can link certain equipment uh, data fields back and forth between these databases. So that's how you do assessments with Flow. Now once I'm finished with this, I go back to Home and I click on again, sync now, and that sends all the data that I've collected in this assessment back up to the Flow website for the team lead to evaluate using some automated quality assurance data quality tools to decide whether the information that I've sent up is uh, complete and is of good enough quality to send back to the builder database and back to, in this case, the client. So that's Flow. We update Flow on a regular basis and these tablets have software on them that allow us to send software updates for Flow to the tablets in the field independent of the assessors themselves. So when the assessor turns on the tablet the next time, they get a software update automatically and it's seamless to them. So that's just a quick tour of Flow. Hope you enjoyed it.